I want to show you some new brushes I have for Photoshop. They're called overspray brushes and they're spray paint brushes that you can use to paint spray paint texture into your designs. You can use it with just a regular mouse or a drawing tablet or if you have an iPad and a Mac and you're using iOS Catalina or newer, you can use a sidecar function and you can use your iPad just like a drawing tablet. So I've got my brushes window open here in Photoshop and let's just go into a new document and I've got the number one brush selected and if I'm using a drawing tablet I can just start painting into the design and with a drawing tablet if you use light pressure it'll make kind of a small spray paint area but as you add pressure that spray paint area will be bigger and if I go down a little bit here I can paint with some of these textures now you'll notice there's a lot of kind of speckle with some of these uh, spray paint textures and that's because they were made from real spray paint from scans of real spray paint and you can just play around with these different brushes and some of them are a little grittier than others and if you get here to the bottom the ones at the bottom are really dense, so they're good for just putting down a lot of spray paint. Now, if I go into a design, this is kind of just a clean design that's layered in Photoshop. And the way I would use the textures here is, say with this skull right here, I can just do select, load selection, and then I just select that skull shape, and I'm going to make a new layer and pick a different color maybe sort of like a an orange and let me pick one of the kind of medium brushes and I can go in there so you can really see that spray paint effect and this is really good for just taking a flat image and giving it some dimension now the way I would use it with this type is I could go up here to this type layer and do select load selection and I'll just select the transparency of that type layer and let's make a new layer and just turn this off. I'll just make my foreground color white and I can just start painting right in there. And this is a good way to just, you know, it's like making a stencil. You know, if I want to use my mouse to paint in, I can do that too. Let's hide that selection. I think that's looking pretty good. There's a couple tricks to doing stencils. One thing you can do is let's show that selection again. Let's go select, modify, expand, and let's expand that selection by say 25 pixels. And you'll see how it selects a bigger area around where we've painted. And what I want to do is let's take one of these lighter brushes. This number three brush is pretty sparse. And let's, let's just hide that selection, it's still active, but we can kind of go in there and add a little bit of overspray, almost like the stencil moved while we were painting. So here's how the final design came out. If you want to see more about overspray brushes for Photoshop, these are included in T-Shirt Design Master Collection 2.